what's for breakfast this morning? Isabel from Tasty AZ has an idea that you probably never heard of, but she says it might become your new go-to. Welcome. Thank you for having me. And today we are going to make Colombian arepas. Arepas. Yes. Okay. These ones in particular are going to be filled with cheese. Nice. So they are going to be nice and cheesy. Uh, but you can definitely make them vegan, have no cheese on them, and you can top them like I did here with some Colombian Creole sauce called Ogao. Uh, we have some uh, avocado and some pickled onions. It looks gorgeous. And you. you're saying it's very easy to make and you can even make Super. it with kids. Three ingredients. Yes. So all we need is some pre-cooked corn flour. Okay. You'll find this at any good uh, supermarket with a Hispanic aisle. Okay, uh, it's nice. right there. And all you need is mix that with mix a that. cup of water. Okay. So one cup of flour. One, one cup flour, one cup water. And one cup cheese. And cheese. And you don't even have to include the cheese. And you don't even have to include it. That yep. is easy. Yep. And then we just mix, mix, mix. Okay. Get your... Little spatula yeah. out there. Yeah. What, what makes Colombian food different from? I know it's Hispanic Heritage Month, and we're celebrating yes. uh, food from various Latin cultures. What makes Colombian food different? We have a lot of different regions in Colombia, and we have like a melting pot of cultures. We had African people come to Colombia during colonization. We had Lebanese people going there in like uh, the mid 1900s. So it's a very rich culture and you'll find different things all over the place. If you're in the coast, you're gonna eat a lot of fish, nice. coconut rice, plantains, very Caribbean. Yeah, I was just thinking that. Yes, and this is from Medellin, where I'm from, and it's up in the mountains. So okay. kind of isolated. People had to work with what they had. So lots of corn, beans, rice. So a lot of different things. And in your blog, you write about all kinds of Latin cuisine. Yes, right now I'm going through a series celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month, doing a series of Argentinian recipes. You'll find a chimichurri, a choripan, dulce de leche, lots of Colombian recipes and even American recipes and giving them a little a Latin little twist, twist. A little twist, a little flair. So you stir this up. Yeah, and you just like knead it a little bit, okay. let it rest. Oh, you got to let it rest. Yeah, you got to let it oh, rest for okay, a little so bit. Okay, so this is resting. Yes. And this and is what it looks you like. You will end up with something like a play dough. Oh, okay, here, show that. Yeah. So this is like a play dough. You can mold it. Yes. And then you can grill it. Yes. And it's going to be really soft, kind of sticky, but not too much. And we're going to make little bowls. Like, okay, depending can I on make how. One? Yeah, absolutely. Depending on how much, um, how big you want to make them. These are perfect for like an appetizer. These are so cute, and yep. I could see kids loving this for breakfast. If you yeah. wanted to put different toppings on it, if your kids weren't like fancy enough for these, yeah. what else could you top it with? Um, some people do meat. Uh, some people um, could you do go chicken. sweet like a Nutella and banana? Yes, actually, these uh, cheese ones. Some people like to top, and let's flatten it. Flatten it. Yeah. Okay. So here we're gonna use like two, right? And this one goes on top. Oh, you made a little sandwich. Yeah. And you just That's like cute. stick the cheese in there. Okay. And you close the just, edges. Yep. Yeah, griddle them. And, and you, you don't need to be perfect. Okay, like, good. It's good. fine. They are very forgiving. Okay. Good. Super easy to good. Make. So now grab a little Put bit a little of cheese. cheese. Yeah. Put it in the middle and then yeah. you make a little sandwich here. Yep. Yeah. I'm glad you edges. said it didn't have to be perfect. Oh, no, they don't. I they, took you to heart on They are that. super forgiving. No, that looks perfect. And do you have any tips for grilling it? Uh, you can use a cast iron skillet uh, or something like nonstick. If you're doing them with kids, it's a lot ah, easier thanks. to do them in a nonstick pan. But if you are fancy and want to make them like authentic yeah because they are usually made on an open fire right okay so you want to use a cast side yeah ah. but these are like super easy anybody can make them tell me they the name delicious. again arepas arepas and they became really popular because of the disney movie encanto oh yes <laughs> okay so the characters eat these yes that's what they eat people it's like a bread, kind of, and people refer to them Should as I try like it? the Colombian bread. Go but for how it. am I going to throw us to commercial? It's so good. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Coming up, Isabel, thank you so much. By the way, find some more of her recipes at Tasty AZ. Thank you.